Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a Clenergy solar inverter and uh, this one's an SPH30 model and if you have a look at it, we've got the power on light is not on and we've got a red status light on and on the screen it's just come up with over temperature. Now, if it's coming up with an over temperature uh, message on the screen like that, it's telling us the inverter is too hot. It's over temperature inside and so, um, so it's... Uh, it stopped working to protect the uh, the internal workings of the inverter from any further damage from the high temperatures. Now, um, so if your inverter was installed in, in full sun and it was baking hot and it was coming up with this over temperature in those conditions, well, obviously that sort of makes sense. In this case, we've got this inverter installed inside and it's actually just been turned on, so it's nice and cool. But we're still getting this over temperature issue uh, now that's telling us that it's not actually too hot it's an internal fault with the temperature sensor in the inverter um, which is causing the problem so look with any problem on the solar inverter always try a reboot of the system because it, it may just clear the glitch that it's got to follow the shutdown procedure you should have something like this which is turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. The solar supply main switch is located in your switchboard. You may or may not have an inverter AC isolator, it depends where the inverter is installed, but here we do, we're just gonna throw that off. Now you've got turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter, which we've got over here. So we're just gonna throw that off as well. And we'll wait for the inverter to go completely dead. That's totally blank now, so now we'll restart the inverter. The uh, starter procedure is nowhere near as critical as a shutdown procedure. You, with the shutdown procedure, you always want to turn the AC off first, then turn off the DC second. So it doesn't matter with the startup procedure. So we're just going to turn the DC on first, and then the AC on, and we'll see what happens with the inverter. And in this case, immediately it's come up with the, the red status light on, and it's coming up with the over temperature issue as well there again. So this is definitely a issue with the solar inverter. Uh, with the sensor, temperature sensor inside the inverter. So look, if your Clenergy inverter was installed in the last five years, it should be still under warranty. And so a couple of things you need for warranty there is a model of the inverter, which would be uh, right here, this SPH30. And you will also need the serial number of the inverter, which is always a bit hard to find in the Clenergy inverters because it's on top of the inverter. So we're just gonna go up, up and away, and here we can see it uh, right here, this barcode right here, that's the serial number there. So um, you will require those couple of bits of information and also you will require some proof of purchase as well. So like the, uh, the uh, invoice for when it was installed or certificate of uh, electrical testing from the electrician who installed it, something like that. But um, look, so even, like I said, if it's within the first five years, then it will be something which is covered under warranty. If it is over five years old, well then, unfortunately it won't be covered under warranty, you will have to get it either repaired or replaced. I wouldn't recommend trying to repair it if it's out of warranty because it's going to probably cost you about $500 and then you still go and have a warrant, uh, inverter without a warranty. So you may as well, in my opinion, spend a bit more money, get a good quality replacement unit with a full warranty again and, uh, and have many more years of, of solar power uh, working well with the uh, the backup of a good warranty. So look, uh, if you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solution can certainly help. Feel free to give us a call. And uh, look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.